Hello, it's me, Stefan Fiskeshoppen. Ah, Møren, sorry. <laughs> uh, as you see uh, on the colors of the table, you're probably wondering what am I gonna do. But actually, I'm gonna try um, fly for spring fishing in Møren. Um, this is a fly that my good friend Magnus Olsson, he has, yeah, as one of his favorites. Um, and it's also represented in our new book. Um, you can guess that it's white and green, and it is. It's a quite big fly uh, we're gonna tie now, and as I said, for the very early season, I mean, just uh, around the premiere fishing in the end of March and throughout April uh, for the fresh run uh, sea trout. Um, yeah, I have prepared here a 20 millimeter US tube, made a butt section where I cut off a piece of uh, red um, three millimeter tube, outer tube, and put that in as a butt to make it uh, quicky quicky. Um, yeah, Magnus, he has caught some fish with this fly, of course, and uh, I call it uh, Magnus uh, flu madness, but Magnus himself, he calls it uh, poopy poopy. <laughs> and it's because he uh, he caught he caught a salmon with it in Norway one year, and then one of the other guys he said, "What is that? What is that fly you use? Give me one of those hoopy booby flies." So the name comes from that. Um, but let's get started. I'm just gonna put in some thread. Start out with here. I'm gonna put in a hackle. This is some rooster saddle feathers and chartreuse, flu, flu chartreuse. Uh, I'm just gonna see which one I want. Probably gonna take this one here. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, hackle in place, now we can start building the wing. I've actually placed the hair materials here um, that I'm probably gonna use. Um, we're gonna make this fly out of five wings. Typical uh, way of tying uh, flies that uh, Ulf Sil, he does a lot in his flies. Um, and it's something that's still, that's still stuck with a lot of us. Uh, because you get this nice uh, drop shape of the fly uh, and a really nice taper to the fly. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we're gonna try to do that. Gonna start out with some um, white uh, polar bear. This is something that needs some prepping. It's not just like don't just pick it and start tying it in. I'm just gonna take away some of the, the feelers around here. I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit, try to table it a little bit. As I said, this is gonna be the first wing, almost the length of the tube. Um, I'm gonna tie this in a bit hard. Polar bear can be quite tricky, so this is actually the only time where I glue my hair to the um, or mine, not my own hair, but uh, the hair that I'm tying with. Uh, that's the only, it's actually the only time I'm gonna put that on here because the polar bear can be quite slippery. And now I drop the glue, that's the, not so smart. I'm just gonna ruin to cut the excesses out, so. But it's a good trick when you use polar bear for 
I can put a little bit of glue on so you get it stuck there. So the first wing, the second wing, I'm gonna use some white polar fox. I'm gonna take some pretty stiff hair because the, the fly is gonna be built stiff, still stiff, and then it's gonna get softer the further up we get on the wings. But the first two I always use quite stiff hair and I do that to, to lift um, the wing up from the tube. Otherwise, if I tied just a couple of wings, it would stay quite straight, like you would probably see on a normal sunray, like it's just a straight fly and I want the wing to be standing up a bit. Same here. I'm gonna use some, gonna use some time by tapering the fox here. Still, it's not the point where it should be tapered the best. Now it's gonna be a little bit further, but we can, we might as well start doing it. See, this is a little bit longer than the first wing. It just just a little bit longer. I'm always looking how it's gonna look when it's spread and everything. I really wanted to be a nice step by step here when I tie this wing in. Then, when you build a wing with a lot of uh, fox, uh, it can also build a lot on the on the tube, so the heads can become quite big. I try to cut it from the hair, from above, a little bit arrow down, because then it gets easier to tie it into the tube, and it, it doesn't build so much. So this can seem like a lot of time wasting for some, but uh, when I'm tying flies, I'm not tying a fly that that's gonna be tied new the week after, unless I'm gonna put it in the trees, but uh, th this should last long, it should be durable, and that's why I really spend a lot of time by making these wings perfect and tying the material in hard. And I'd rather have a big head on my fly than a, a really bad looking wing. Uh, I want this wing to to swim really good in the in the water. So now we're getting to the part where I'm actually gonna tie in the longest wing. This is probably gonna be the length of the fly. I could make it even longer, but I think it's all right. It's okay, just around there. And still a white polar fox. And Fox comes in many qualities and everything, but by treating it right, every every fox piece can be really, really good. Just brush it, comb, comb it and brush it, and yeah, some even wash it in, in some shampoo and stuff. Here I'm looking again to taper it a little bit, taking away the excess that extra stuff here. Take your time doing this. Don't just, don't hurry. So if you see what I meant when I talked before, you can already see it now, that the wing is standing quite straight up and that's due to the material under that are so stiff. So it lifts this little softer, the softer wing that I put over. So 
super exciting to, to look at me cutting small fox hair off here. Okay, let's hope that we can tie this down. So this is also the point where I like to tie in the flesh. And I'm gonna start by using some silver Listen glow. It's gonna take two strands there. Lay it up on the, on the top. You know, this is a great color combi combination for when rivers are running cold or the water's murky or something like that when it's spring floods and everything, or even summer floods, it can be quite good to use these type of flies. I'm gonna use some pearl, uh, glisten glow, maybe even the other flesh is not glisten glow, maybe it's firefly, but you know, pearl and silver flesh, and then you take what you got. Um, you have to remember, I'm also just interpreting, like, interpreting, <laughs> I'm trying to, make my version of Magnus fly here, so I hope Magnus approves it, otherwise maybe he's not gonna be that good a friend anymore. And when you cut your flesh, cut it in different lengths, just don't like pull it down and cut it. I really hate it when you do that. Try and cut in different lengths, it tapers, it tapers the flesh wing. Then we're gonna use some pearl angel hair. And this is sometimes that flesh that always comes off first. <laughs> um, but uh, still looks good for you. So, just gonna run my scissors through and split the angel head. So, now we're gonna tie in the, I think it's the fourth wing now. It is. Uh, I'm still gonna go with some soft fox here. Um, here I'm gonna have it around, let me see, that length. So a little bit shorter than the, the wing before to get this drop shape down. I don't know what I meant by saying the drop shape down, but like getting a drop shape on the fly. <laughs> and the drop shape that I'm talking about is the is that shape the fly gets that makes it look really good tapered at it, and it also swims much better in the water when you do it like that. So I hide the flesh a little bit with this one here. Happy that I got a brand new scissors for this one. Otherwise, normally my scissors are always so worn out, so it takes half an hour just cutting one strand of hair away. But um, take good care of your scissors, then you don't have the problems that I have with mine sometimes. Again, really exciting to watch me. Cutting this off here. So we're gonna see if it's a little bit too much still, or should cut no, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be alright. So now we're getting to the part with the last wing. And here I want to use the softest one. I'm gonna use some. Tanuki, white tanuki, I think I am, I'm 
ゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃタイプは、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、The licking the finger thing. I know it's not that nice, but、uh, well, it's getting there. So let's cut it off. We're just gonna cut it really close to t e n g e s a little bit thinner in the hair than the, than the fox. So hopefully, I can get the thread over here. It up a little bit. This is what you get, of course, from building a lot of wings. But you'll see in a little while that it doesn't matter because. Smart using a white thread on white hair, that's a really good thing. Don't do that. <laughs> so, I'm gonna change the thread actually because I want to finish off with another color on the head. I could wait, but I'm gonna do it now. Just gonna change it to a red thread. Much to say right now. I'm so focused on 
getting this finished in a good way. So. Holding my breath here now. Hopefully it's gonna be good. Not my breath, it's not gonna be good, but I meant a lot of thread during that. during that just now. I'm gonna find myself a nice pair of cheeks and by that I mean some jungle cock. I think we can use some of the bigger ones for this fly. Just wanna find a matching one. Is that uh, not completely? What about this one here? Huh, identical. Actually, finding matching jungle cock, it's better than winning in the lottery. But I wouldn't know because I never win on the lottery. And I don't play the lottery either, so... All these, I fish for salmon, that's a lottery. Uh, I'm just talking to myself here while I'm trying to get these to look like something. Placing jungle cock on a, on a salmon fly is actually one of the more important things because if you get them to, if they are like really not placed the right way, it could, could make the fly twist and turn the wrong way. And we don't want that. So I'm just gonna wind up some of it here. I think we have put enough today. That we find I'm gonna secure them that much. Whoopsie. here and then we can it's ready for some varnish Magnus Olsson local merm angler flu madness or hubby wobby great fly for sea trout we could probably catch a salmon with it as well but five wings and flash and 20 millimeter US tube you're ready for some spring fishing Thank you. 